This is Oklahoma Zone News on 6. Today marks the day the Treasury Department said the U.S. would run out of cash to pay its debts unless Congress passed a bill to raise the debt ceiling. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Reagan Ledbetter. And I'm Autumn Bracey. President Biden signed that bill into law on Saturday, averting a potential economic crisis. Wendy Gillette has more on what's next. President Biden celebrated the passage of the debt ceiling bill with a round of golf Sunday. But Republicans and Democrats are still bickering about why a deal only came together at the last minute. They refused to negotiate for 100 days, despite indicating otherwise. Uh, they're the ones who brought us to the brink. House MAGA Republicans were ready to take default hostage in order to pass a radical hard right agenda that would have hurt the American people. Even though the agreement was passed and signed into law, Fitch Ratings warned it could still downgrade the country's credit rating, saying repeated political standoffs and pushing the deal to the final hour lowers confidence in the government. It's not good for the United States to go through this. It's a political process. It's, it's good they came to resolution. It's good it's behind us. Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan predicts a mild recession as early as the third quarter. I think we're at the point now with the Fed having uh, tightened as much as it has. The impact of the uh, Treasury funding has to come forward. In this period of economic concern, two more candidates will jump into the already crowded field of Republicans running for president. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is expected to make his announcement Tuesday in New Hampshire. And former Vice President Mike Pence is scheduled to formalize his bid Wednesday in Iowa. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. And in just the last couple of hours, former Vice President Pence has filed the paperwork to kick off his campaign. 